Over the last four episodes, uh, we have taken you through the four areas of life. And, and we talk about hashtag life goals. It's just our uh, verbiage that we've put around this idea of breaking your life down into four areas. But we've gone through L, which is love. And we talked about relationships and the importance of being in a good place with the relationships that you have in your life, not just your spouse, uh, but all the other relationships, your coworkers, your friends, your family, all of that. Then we went into I, which is influence, which is your mind. And we talked about uh, this idea of being in a good mental place. Then F, finance, which is your business. And, and we talked about um, being in a good place with your business. And we featured uh, the guys over at Summit Solar and, and kind of gave you a highlight of, of some of the business uh, that they're doing. And lastly, E which is energy, the body. And we had a lot of fun in this, uh, this last episode uh, putting me through some <laughs> grueling workouts, which I am still sore from today. Um, but the most important thing is having all four of these areas working together. And we talk a lot about balance. There is no such thing as balance, but it's really about being able to be aware of the imbalances in your life and being able to adjust accordingly as quickly as possible. So as you see there being a, an area of concern in your relationships, being able to quickly pivot and focus more time and energy and effort into your relationships. But knowing that as you do that, it's gonna create an imbalance somewhere else. And that may be your business, that may be your body, that may be your mind. But being able to be consciously aware of the ebb and flow of these four areas and adjust quickly and adjust purposely to make sure that you pay attention to the things that need attention. You saw the daily bread, here's the new recipe. You can't expect to see more transparency. 5,006 figure earners, it's success to me. Giving the best of me, my living legacy. And that's something that we take our agents through within our insurance agents, uh, insurance agency. We take them through a process of accountability in these four areas. So we have three goals set in each of the four areas every 90 days. And we do a monthly accountability call with them. You're going to see a lot of behind the scenes footage uh, in this episode uh, of me doing that. Obviously, we can't show you those conversations because they're very personal. Um, they're very private and they're very powerful conversations. It's been uh, really life-changing for me to be able to have these conversations with people, um, to be able to get to know people at a deeper, deeper level when you're talking about their relationships, their mind, their body, and then their business. The interesting thing is from a corporate perspective, a company instituting a process like this of keeping people accountable in all four areas, that it's not all about the business. Obviously, we understand that if someone's winning in their relationships, if they're killing it with their body, if they're in a good place mentally, that it's just gonna be a side effect, a byproduct of that, that of course they're gonna be doing better in business, but that's not why we do it. We want people that are doing business with us winning in all areas of your life. Like Tony Robbins said, and we mentioned this in the very first episode of this vlog, success without fulfillment is the ultimate failure. We know that we can do our job and that it's our responsibility that on the front end, we make sure that you don't get to a place where you become successful financially, but you don't have your relationships, your mind and your body intact. What good is it to go through all the work to become quote unquote successful if you don't have anybody to share it with and your relationships are in a bad place? What good is it to become successful financially if you're in a terrible place mentally and emotionally? And then what good is it to become successful financially if you're struggling with your health and with your body? We understand this to a deep degree is the key to longevity and the key to ultimate success and fulfillment. So it's something that we take our agents through. And so the people that come on board uh, with our company um, over these next few months, which we know will be many of you that are watching this, 
We know that taking you through this process will be a life-changing movement that will spread across this country. People that are winning in all areas of life and now have a career opportunity where they're making more money than they've ever made. And when you combine those two, winning in all four areas and winning it financially to a degree that you've never won before, then very interesting things can happen and that's how you can absolutely change the world. And that's what we're all about. Um, it sounds silly, change the world, but you change the world by changing the people that are in it. And we can change enough people's lives to make a true impact on this world. I believe that 100%. But it will be doing so by keeping people accountable and holding them to these four areas of their life to make sure that they are the absolute best versions of themselves. And uh, that's just what we're gonna do. I think it's important for you guys to hear firsthand from some of the people that we're taking through this process of our life goals, uh, that are being held accountable in all four areas of their life and that are having incredible results because of it. So I hope you enjoy hearing a couple testimonials from people that are utilizing life goals in their everyday life. Life goals has made a big impact in my life. Being a former athlete myself, I never had a problem keeping myself motivated in the gym and doing other things with productivity. Going through life goals uh, with Tyler as a coach has been a great thing for me. Uh, I don't have any overnight miraculous success story that, you know, in the last three months, my life has just done a 180 in every regard, in every regard, but you know, that wouldn't be realistic or reasonable. It's not a magic button overnight fix. Uh, it's a program with steady progress, measurable progress through, through action, consistent action, uh, you know, to create the best you possible. Two of my largest takeaways from hashtag life goals is number one, that laser point focus, being able to set a goal, have a target, aim and hit it every single time. It just leaves me feeling accomplished every single day. About four years ago, I was 140 pounds. I was a skinny little run and I was sick of being skinny and weak. So I made a goal for myself to get big and strong, but I was very specific. I wanted to have a 400 pound back squat and I wanted to weigh 185 pounds. The life goals has been a, uh, a game changer for me. Uh, before, <clears throat> before implementing this, I always felt uh, I always felt like I was, wasn't doing enough. Uh, and I think that's because I didn't have specific goals for each area of my life. But Tyler really opened my eyes to not only put the effort into my body, my passion, but my family, my productivity, and even in my own mind. Tyler's all about you writing your own story, you creating your own story, and uh, he's not trying to create my life for me. Uh, he's simply helping me define what it is that I want in life and the steps I need to take, you know, in all aspects of my life to get to where I want to be and create success uh, in all avenues of my life. There's a lot of days that I missed, but being even somewhat committed got me to that goal. It would have got me there a lot faster if I would have been fully committed every day, but it still got me there. Now that I'm focused and have these, uh, you know, specific areas and goals in terms of uh, fitness, you know, my relationships, my mindset, uh, my business and my wealth, uh, now, I, once I accomplish those tasks or those specific things I need to do every day, um, I know I'm doing what I need to do because I'm moving the needle every day and no longer do I beat myself up about not doing enough or feeling like I'm not giving enough effort. Tyler, thank you, man, for what you're doing for me. It's made a huge impact on my life already in this short time. And I can already see that by sticking to this and working hard at it, of course, with you helping me keep my accountability, this is absolutely gonna help me get to the next level. I'd love to tell you, oh, I love being accountable to Tyler. I don't love being accountable to Tyler because, you know, it's not always fun. It's not always comfortable, but, you know, true accountability shouldn't be fun. It shouldn't be comfortable. It should stretch you. It should push you. And I think when you talk about accountability, one of the most important aspects of that is who you're accountable to. And that's one reason why, uh, you know, being accountable to Tyler is such a good thing for me uh, because he does want to see me succeed. He does want to see me grow, but he's not going to baby me in the process. So the point is with life goals, guys, there are some people that are 100% committed and never miss a step, never miss a beat. And they attain things a lot faster than people like me who miss days, miss a week or two at a time sometimes but it's still there and I still follow it and it's a process that I follow with my heart and with my body and my mind. 
and you need to do the same if you're not. So every day feeling accomplished and um, ultimately working towards those specific goals I've set in each of those four areas. When I've fallen short in one aspect of my life or my goals, you know, we're gonna dive deep into it and try to figure out why I've fallen short and what I need to do different now and moving forward in terms of action to not continue to fall short uh, and to meet those goals. And then that's just gonna snowball effect, you know, into all the other aspects of my life and the other goals that I've set out. So uh, to have Tyler as an accountability coach, partner, mentor, all the above is a powerful thing. I no longer feel like I'm chasing my tail. Um, the chaos is gone. I know exactly what I need to do every single day. And when I go to bed at the end of the day, I'm feeling accomplished. I know that everything that I should have gotten done has gotten done. Self-awareness is a huge thing um, for myself and, and with our organization. And it takes, number one, becoming aware of like your strengths and weaknesses. But then it takes identifying within those weaknesses layers of accountability that you can put in place. Yes. A lot of it's just taking the things that you're not good at and deciding how you can eliminate those things from your life to where you don't have to do those, but there's some that you still just have to do. But I was talking to Joseph about like, hey, like I've realized that in this area, like I'm just, I'm horrible with the organization on this area of our business. And so I either need to figure out a way for someone to like hold me accountable to that on a daily basis and make it to where it's like a competition because I'm a competitive person. So if you add competition to it, then I'll, you know, figure it out. Um, I was like, so I need you to like push me and compete with me in this level, in this area that I just don't like and I'm not good at. But if I know that you and I can compete on it, then just adding that level of accountability into it will make me at least get it done. Yes. Um, so I think accountability is so huge in all those four areas of your life. Like even with like your mind, like we talk about like meditating, like oh. like right now, like I'm on a nine day streak on Headspace and it's like the best thing ever. Cause I'm like nine day streak. It's like my biggest streak yet. Yeah. And tonight when I do it, because I've been doing it at night instead of morning, which has been a game changer for me. Uh, just because I just didn't like doing it in the morning. Yeah. I was forcing myself to, and I was like, I just don't like it. And I was like, oh, well, why don't I just do it do at night. a different time? So now I've been doing it at night. But like tonight, I'm like, oh, I don't want to break the streak. Yeah. And it's just like, yeah. it's not, and some people would look at that and they'd be like, well, that's that's silly. I'm like, well, I, I'll do it tonight. Yeah. If, if that's what it took, then what does it matter? Exactly. So I think it's so, so important. So I'm so excited um, to see this next chapter of your life as you put yourself back out there, but now know who you are, yeah. now have these la layers of accountability in your life, and to be um, at a place where you're firing on all cylinders because you're you're working out of your congruence, which you know, you know that this is what you're supposed to be doing. Yes. And now you've got the other areas of your life that are in place to where now you can know you can do it to your best of your ability. Well, it feels amazing awesome. to be able to come out on that level. When you yeah. talk about accountability, I couldn't have done it without my best friend who's yeah. my gym or my best friend who's my business partner. But then I have a whole other tribe, you know, where friendships of yeah. real, you could be raw, deep and, yeah. you know, tell them everything. Sweet. And the other thing I can say is that coming back out, my my husband had told me after I had disconnected and I really connected with Sonny, mm -hmm. um, I realized that I became who I was when he first met me. Mm. And when he first met me, I was this independent, not scared. I didn't care what anybody thought about me because <laughs> yeah. I was on TV. I mean, people come up to you and yeah. they think they know you and either they hate you or they love you. <laughs> yeah. And so when he met me, that was the Sonny that he knew. And then I turned into the Sonny who was just a different person. I, gotcha. I just lost. but. Make a long story short, coming back out, he's like, he looked at me and he's like, you're you're the wife, yeah. the person that I first met. Awesome. And so seeing that from him, he's yeah. my accountability. Um, yeah. My girlfriends are, you know, and it's just, it's, huge. I'm, it's it is, it's huge. All right, guys, so now is the time that you have all been waiting for, highly anticipating. We are releasing 
this Life Goals Accountability Program. One time only for a cost of, wait a second, cut. Who the heck put this in the teleprompter? So I've had a lot of people reach out in messages, DMs, uh, asking if we were releasing a, an accountability program or um, a program in regards to this life goals uh, system that we have uh, here with our, within our organization. And uh, the answer is no. The answer is no, we're not. That's, that's not what this is all about at all. Um, what I thought was important though is for you guys to see the process with which we take our agents through that come on board uh, with us, agents that have made a career uh, with us, and keeping them accountable in all four areas of their life. You know, we saw in episode one of, of My Living Legacy uh, that our goal, really our vision, was to create 5,000 six figure earners, but 5,000 six figure earners that are thriving in all areas of life. The business, obviously, but mind, body, and relationships. And this is the process that we take them through. Uh, so there will at some point be an opportunity uh, for people to come on board with our company as we are launching a brand new agency. There have been tons that have already come on board uh, over these last few weeks. Um, but we'll get into more details in further episodes on that. For now, just wanted you to see a little bit of our process that we've gone through, adopted from the core four with Sean Whalen that's made such a huge impact on my life, now translated into our insurance agency as life goals and taking people through a process where they can get specific, where they can get clear on what they want in their life and how to go out and get it, and most importantly, be held accountable to those goals in every single aspect. Mm -hmm.